the Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. Thanks for joining us. Tonight's guest I have here uh, is going to represent Mercy Corps Northwest and a new program that they have. And here we have uh, to represent Mercy Corps, I have John Haynes. You're the Executive Director. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And Jermaine Flintroy, you are a CIT investor and a member of the community and uh, and somebody I've met several times through through different events here in East County. So you'll be able to give us some perspective in a little bit about this new program that, that we're going to hear about tonight. Yes. So welcome. Thanks. <laughs> so John, maybe you could start out by giving me a little bit of information about Mercy Corps. It's, it's an organization that's been around for a long time and is really well known in, in this area. So um, just give me an overview if you okay. can of, of what you do. Yeah, our parent Mercy Corps is a global humanitarian relief agency that works in places of mm. crisis, conflict, and economic collapse. 40 plus countries that are the toughest places really on earth where there's there's big challenges going through transition from crisis to to survival to productivity. Um, in Oregon and Washington we're, we're the, the domestic reflection of Mercy Corps globally <coughs> and Mercy Corps Northwest works in Oregon Washington largely with economic development um, but also projects like this when the Community Investment Trust. Good. Well it's it's you have a great reputation, and, and um, I'm really glad to have you here on the show tonight. Thank you. So the, this Community Investment Trust, this is a new idea, and this is new in for Mercy Corps, right? This is brand new? Yeah, it's new for us. It's uh, the first um, investment product of its type anywhere in the country, and we're piloting it here in Portland and Gresham wow. on 122nd and roughly market with one project, um, a 29,000 square foot commercial retail office space with 27 um, commercial retail tenants. Wow, when I, when I first read about it, my first thought was, this is, we're lucky to have it. Right. I think this uh, is a really cool project. What has the response been so far? How long has this been? Well, we've been incubating this uh, conceptually for a while. We bought the building three years ago, improved it, got the, the tenants stabilized, and then we launched the investment. Uh, it's been a complicated process, but it's uh, simple now. Um, you getting you it can, down to streamlining yeah, it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and Jermaine can tell you we, we <laughs> offer a class called "Moving from Owing to Owning." That's the prerequisite, and being in three or four zip codes around the building. So, nine seven two one six, nine seven two three zero, nine seven two three three, and nine seven two three six. If you live in those zip codes and you take the course, you can get on our website, which is investcit.com. So that's all in southeast, kind of outer yes. southeast Portland area. Right, and into, into Rockwood, Gresham as well. Okay, good. So before I talk to Jermaine and get your viewpoint on it, you, have, you brought a video that kind of helps give an idea of, uh, give a good explanation of how this is all going. And I think we should take a look at that. Is there anything we need to know about this video before we see it? No, Just I think roll it, hopefully. Okay, let's roll it now. It's the first community investment trust that we know of in the country. The Community Investment Trust will give members of the community that we're reaching out to an opportunity to invest a certain amount of money every month in the commercial property that, that's been purchased. We own a building for the Community Investment Trust. It's called Plaza 122. It's 29,000 square feet. It's an office building that houses nonprofits and for-profit businesses. It's on a busy, visible street. It's at the hub of the neighborhood. People will have the opportunity to invest monthly at $10, $25, $50, or $100, and no more. That's the cap. They'll buy in. We have equity that we put into the building, and the investors in the neighborhood will, over roughly three years, buy out our equity, then it's their building. The investors can say, that's my building, I own that. Those businesses that are in that building are businesses that I will go support because when they succeed, I succeed. So it creates a mutually reinforcing relationship in a neighborhood where the tenants do better, the investors do better, and we hope the neighborhood will do better because people own a stake in the outcomes that everybody's seeking. Community Investment Trust, it break into the small pieces. So for the family like myself, it's reachable and it's doable. And I would definitely like to tap into that type of a program. There's a benefit to investing both in terms of the dividend that's received, there's the appreciation of the property that's occurring over time, so there are those tangible benefits. The other important part of it is, is we're offering education to go with the investment. In fact, it's a, a requirement. 
and people have asked for it. They said, I would like to make this investment, but I want to understand how it works. How do I budget? How do I make a plan? How do I line those two to make sure that I can make an effective investment and stick to it? That's the key of it, is just allowing people an option and a pathway for self-determination, unsubsidized. So can a $10 investment each month in this project end up dramatically changing somebody's life? And even though this is a moderate investment and it's gonna be a moderate return, maybe by breaking down some of those barriers, we can break the cycle of poverty that we end up seeing in so many communities. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I really So Jermaine, tell me about the process. How, how did you find out about this and then, then what did you have to do first? Well, first I uh, had a co-worker tell me about this opportunity that you can invest in the community. I bet you thought, huh? Right. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so then I ended up going to a training and then they started explaining us about budgeting, the opportunity investment. And then once I went through the training, I was like, oh, this is for real. So this right? was this the owing to owning? This the owning to owning okay. training. Okay. So you have to go through a... Uh, I think it's uh, one of four hours, six? Two, two four hour sessions. Yes. So yeah. eight hours, so eight, yeah. Yes, totally, with an eight hour session, and then you can um, get into investment. But our process was, so we went to the investment, and they had to take a while, because they were still trying to figure out details, right? So you're right? part of the, like, the guinea pig, yeah, you're getting yeah. it started. Yeah, the first, yeah. the first class to figure out. But eventually it came where you can invest, and you start to see, well, I thought it was the most wonderful opportunity that you ever can do. <laughs> if you can invest in your own community, and you're gonna get rewards, I was like, yes, I'm okay. all <laughs> and it's a reasonable amount. I mean, it's right. something that it's manageable. Yes. Where usually if there's an investment opportunity, well, you have to come up with, you know, thousands of dollars. Right. But that's not the case. Right. It's 10, 25, 50, 100. And I figure if you get in on the first end of this investment, when it actually comes in, you're going to be invested in a long term. So. Uh -huh. So how long ago was it that you started putting money into this? I started putting money into it probably, I don't know, say three or four months ago because it yeah. just started coming out yeah. to make it work. Yes. That's great. Yeah. So who is it open to? Who can do this? I know it has they have to live in Eight, that area. 18 years old. Okay. Um, have a tax ID number. Um, we, we're doing the class in five different languages. Oh, wow. Um, English, Spanish, um, Arabic, um, Vietnamese, and Russian. Wow. That's great. Um, so we're really trying to open it absolutely to everybody. Um, and the key difference is the monthly investment, so it fits into people's budget, and that it, uh, we, we, you get an, an annual dividend based on the performance of the property, and then your share price goes up as the value of the property goes up and as we pay down debt. So it's got both a short and a long-term return. And then the key feature that we've built into it is that uh, we've got a protection that investors cannot lose the money that they invest. We well, a, I'll be darned. Uh, <laughs> That's a heck of a deal. That was the seller. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. You well, can't yeah. lose, like, if you can't lose, why not invest? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great opportunity. It really is. Uh, so, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised this hasn't been done before. I have a feeling that if this goes as well as it sounds like it's going to, this could be a, real, a model for the rest of the country. That's what we hope. But yeah. uh, this first one needs to go right. Right. And so, so what? Uh, what? What kinds of things are you looking for then? What, I mean, when people invest in it, how will you know that it's been a success? I mean, how many? It's like, is there a cap to the number of people you can have invest in this yeah, property? Yeah, it's, it's a dollar cap. So we're we're selling four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and forty five thousand shares. Each share is ten dollars. So when the people buy in at ten to a hundred dollars, if they come in all at a hundred, it'll be closer to three hundred investors. And right, if they come right. in at various amounts, it'll be closer to five hundred. But they can't put in more than a hundred. <coughs> yeah. That's which right. is great. I mean that's great. So then once this property is paid for and you own this property then what happens? How does that work? Then is there is it is there like a cooperative people a cooperative of people who need to there's a there's a board of directors that has the fiduciary oversight of the building, and okay. it's made up of community members. Um, there's three there's three people now: the board chairman, Score Northwest, me, and one Jenny Glass who runs Rosewood Initiatives. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it'll will expand up to twelve people, you know, as we start to okay. find investors that want to do it or real estate experts. Um, investment people and people that are tethered to various communities within within the neighborhoods. So Jermaine wouldn't have a responsibility toward doing anything with the building? No. 
No, no. Unless he was ended up being on the board or something like that. Right? Unless he wanted to get his hair cut or. Get, <laughs> so yes. what kinds of business? So in this this is uh, this business uh, is on 100. And 122nd in market. Okay, and so and there's a, a beauty salon there and Latino and hair salon, a Russian-owned importer of lotions and creams. There's a affordable funeral preparation business, Crown. There's a tax, two tax preparers in multiple languages. Somali-owned taxi company, wow. Somali Association of Oregon. Like a little United Nations right, there. Right, That's right. awesome. Yeah, it really is. And then nonprofits. There's a trans transactive, a transgender youth support and education group. A group called Pathfinders of Oregon that works sure. with uh, yeah, the parents with of, or with the children, the families of incarcerated yes. uh -huh. Uh -huh. individuals. Wow, that's great! And so, is there room in the building for more people to to? There's some open small mom and pop there? shops. There's some small businesses that that just have uh, a small office, and that's great. I mean, it really is an incubator for the kind of businesses Mercy Corps Northwest even yeah. works for. With um, there's there's one there's one space open right now. Um, but otherwise, we're 95% leased up. And so, once this is paid off, then you, the dividends you get back is going to be from the rent from yeah. the. Okay. It's a net income. We distribute the 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 cash for the building. Wow. To this every is, year. This is great. So, <laughs> do you have big plans for the money you're going to make here? <laughs> is this money that you're going to save for something, or you? This is something that I'm going to teach my kids how mm. to invest in. So this is the opportunity to, I think, finally get the opportunity to have financial family wealth. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start mm -hmm. teaching the investments. So if we can take this project and do it somewhere else. I want to be part of that. So to continue to have that kind of success is what my whole opportunity is for this. That's so. a good answer, Jermaine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good I answer. Have the kids, so I need to make sure. Yeah, well, that that's really smart. Yes. That's really smart. It's a great opportunity. Yes. So what do you need from people? I mean, you 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 have more classes coming up. Yeah, we do. We we have uh, classes going continually. Um, the place to to check out is uh, our website is investcit.com. And you can sign up for classes on Mercy Corps Northwest site, which is mercycorpsnw.org. And we have two classes coming up in February, one in English, one in Spanish. Okay, and I think we'll have the information on the screen okay. so people can find out how to do that. So if you live in those zip, in those zip codes, you are 18 years of age, you have a tax ID number, which and social security number, is mm -hmm. that what you're talking about? Okay. And then, um, and you take the class. I mean, sign up and then take the class. You can become You're an in. investor. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the people that have invested, about how many, do you know how many people you have invested so far? We have 17 that have gone through and are investors right now, and, in, and a few of them have stopped part way through the, the process. Uh, so, What if um, they move out of the area? If they move out of the area, they can. If they've been in the investment for a year, mm -hmm. they can with they can hold their investment, oh, okay. but they can't make additional investment in it. Okay, so but they can still do their I mean, they, oh, can, they can. <coughs> it's, we just you it's down, capped it when you okay. leave the neighborhood. So you get a percentage of the of yeah, the and you can hold it. Your or, dividends will be small. And people can because, cash out any time they want. Oh, okay. Oh, um, and not well, lose their that's money. That's good to know right, too. Right, right. You know, if there's something comes up and you need that money, then, but don't. Yes. <laughs> but no, oh, oh, oh. What, um, what else do we need to know about the program? Are you sharing with this with other people? Do you yes. tell people? So, Obviously, you are. But right. Yeah. So now, since they're actually the details are in place. I'm going to go find other investors because it only makes it better for all of us. If we all invest, this is the best opportunity for, I think, how you build the community also. Like, you got to go and uh, make a community aware of the investment opportunities. So a lot of people still kind of didn't know the, this opportunity mm -hmm. exists, but now it's time to really share because now you can put the pieces together. Right, so. right. So, get, you know, get more people, get it all, get it all paid for. The sooner so the you, get, you get it, yeah. all the shares sold, then... Then we're off to the next one. Right. That's right. great. And, and will you be doing that with Mercy Corps then? I mean, will you be buying more properties and, and doing that as a, you know? We, we may. We um, may. I mean, this property itself is on 1.43 acres. There's an opportunity to do something on that footprint if there's enough investment demand. Um, it's early. You know, we've got 17 investors out right. of what we want right. is three to but 500. It, but there's interest around the country, so we'll always be looking back at this one and how 
we learned from the example. What went right? This what went Portland well. Gresham yeah. um, it's example. It's kind of nice to be part of the uh, the, the building yes, blocks yes, of this whole thing. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Years later, when he's you know in his yes. tie making yes. his presentations to people around the country about it, yeah. I think it's a great it's a great plan, John. I think this is a really a solid plan, and, yeah, and it helps. You. You too, right? I mean, you're making this investment, but it's um, it's what it's what Mercy Corps does. Yeah. You know, yeah. we try to build people's um, capacity to make their own decisions better and help community at the same time. So we're looking for individual family outcomes. Um, how do the tenants in the building do when mm. 300? You know, presumably they're going to do better. So we'll survey them. And then we just want to see how the neighborhood interacts. If people vote, will do they engage in community groups? Do they become more active when they're when they own a stake in the community. When people, when, when one tenant moves out and somebody else moves in, who makes that decision as to who We have to property move in there? managers, professional mm -hmm. property okay. managers, Werner. Because you'd really, I mean, it'd be really nice to know that you had people moving into there and the tenants that were going to be good community, community people, you know? Yeah. I think that would be a, something I'd really, I'd care about. I, and and I, hopefully that will sort of just bring up the whole neighborhood. That's yeah. And I think it also from like from an investor part give us opportunity to go visit them pl uh, places to make sure they stay in business. So well, now yeah, our business right. go right back. So it's like, yes. you know, hey, I need a I need a place to get yeah. my hair to oh, yeah, here, right, go right, there. Go there. Right, right. Yeah, so we, we just promote. opened up um, a food cart just opened up a mm -hmm. husband wife team that that has Mexican coffee and really outstanding burritos, breakfast burritos in the morning and then and then burritos during the day and Great it's, coffee. It's on that property there? Yeah. Yes. In our parking yeah. lot. I have to drive by there on my way to work in the yeah. morning and check it out. Yeah, that's I mean that that's great. The more you know, the more you get going there, I think the better. So you, it sounds like you're going to look for other investment opportunities just on your own too, uh, huh? Yes, of uh, course. I'm gonna take this and run <laughs> yeah, with it. I, mean, I think that's great. Well you know what? This is inspiring you yes. and it's and it'll inspire other people to, to you know, do something better. I think know? it's also inspiring my family members, right? Yeah. So I'm kind of becoming necessarily that guy to take the chance so I can go really take it to the community and start to say, look at this. This is the opportunity that we have in front of us. Because sometimes, a lot of times, we don't have this opportunity. So I'm kind of taking that risk to go back and share this opportunity with a lot more people. That's wonderful. Yes. We're out of time. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. now inspired. I wish I lived there. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. This has been a really, a really interesting conversation. So I'll, I'll be anxious to follow it up and see how it all goes. Thanks for watching Community Hotline. We'll be here next week. We'll see you then. I'm Monica Weitzel. Good night. is made possible with generous support by Gresham Ford, the dealer with a heart. The Contribute to the Community program provides the opportunity for the Gresham Ford team to make a positive impact, serving their customers and helping people across the community. The Outlook, serving the residents of East Multnomah County for more than 100 years. The region's number one source for information, The Outlook provides readers with intensely local coverage of the issues and people that impact our lives and community. The Mountain Hood Cable Regulatory Commission, advocating on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. And by Stamp Connection. Metro East values the support of our partners in the community, and we'd like to give a very special thanks to the sponsors who help make our programming possible.